hi guys welcome back to my channel how you doing today i just today is sunday and i just want to talk like i just want to tell you people just you people and today is a storytelling day like a storytelling day you know i'm excited that, like i'm very excited that school is ending very soon the children are writing exams already and um, they are going to go on break i'm going to rest from waking up in the morning trying to fix everything before my husband wakes up dropping the kids at school before thinking of going to work and all so the thing is it's going to be very easy for me now waking up is for me to dress to work like i'm not going to take any anybody to school market to be at home because she's already writing her exams so so when they are done they'll all be at home and uh my stress will be reduced like i'll sleep well like well sound then sit very well to make up to work <laughs> but lately i've not been making up to work like i've just been there just go to work like this like in my face is so i'm excited that life is going to be like reduced for me i know the break is not long i know it's not long at all but i one thing i'm very sure of is for the if it's two weeks if it's a week i'm going to rest for that week or for the two weeks so i'm fine with that so today i just want to talk about waist speed like waist speed i'm a lover of waist speed but something happened i stopped wearing waist speed when i when the people see me with waist speed they always see me differently maybe because and i'm thought of it like ah why is that people always see me differently because i wear waist speed what is wrong with waist speed because i grew up in a village where um my father was a traditional ruler so we stayed in the village all through well, the only thing that took us out was school service and marriage so while we were in the village i normally go to the market market then was for four days so people come from different villages to come and sell things so i go there to buy waist bead for myself and i love wearing them then it was normal people didn't see anything wrong with it so nobody complained my dad didn't complain my mom didn't complain so when i even went to university i pierced my second ear i know my mom complained about that but my dad didn't even notice he didn't notice my mom complained and i told her how ah, that the first one <laughs> the first one was paining me and uh, so i had to open this only my friend opened it for me so then wearing waist was like a normal thing nobody had anything but when i came to abuja and like i'm married for christ's sake i still love wearing waist my husband doesn't have any problem with it but if i go to anywhere and people see me with the waist maybe if it's show, sometimes i cover it though i cover it but without knowing when you know when you sit with when you wear something and you sit it may come out and people when people see it they say ah the way they look at me differently so i said nigeria my country they've taken the light so i'll still continue my just like that there was one day i went to the Busi market in abuja i went there and i noticed my my waist was slacked already so i just nice to wear it like that and i wear a gown covering it so it wasn't going to show and all the thing cut and it fell on the floor it was going right you know how beads would just pour on the floor and everybody started looking at me like people are even running away like ha what this one juju carry so i just didn't like the the way they were looking at me but i still did not stop inside that market i bought fine beautiful ones to replace the one that just got spoiled so i noticed that whenever i have people that were from the same place they see me they see me with waist be their their attitude their the attitude changes like they think okay maybe i'm diabolic maybe because my father was a traditional ruler i don't know so people and i've not i've had some people who have been come who have come close to me to be my friend thinking that oh because my father is a traditional ruler like i went i i grew up in the village so i should i should know how to jazz i should know how to do things you know but they get they, they got disappointed because i took them to dynamis <laughs> George, last last and after that day i noticed that, that that particular friend didn't like everything about me again she started withdrawing she started misbehaving and i noticed oh this one and i knew i knew what was the problem like i knew it was because she was disappointed please there are some people that will even call me and say how far hey, hey there's something like this and do you have somebody that can help me check and i'll be like check where <laughs> so the truth is people don't know that my father is very spiritual he's a very good christian he was a he was he had a particular seat in church he 
he had this big Bible that he normally normally teaches us with the things of the Bible. He had, he actually knew the Bible, and for one day, I will say it here, for one day, I never saw my father do anything fetish. We go to his room when he's not around. I can actually do anything, sleep on his bed, do everything. Like I can touch anything that has to do with these things without seeing any. He doesn't stop us. He doesn't restrain restrain us from things. So, yeah, like I, I didn't even tell you in my house then when we we're growing up, we we'll do devotion in the morning. Like my father will preach. He will, he will ask you what you understand by the verse he read and the preaching. You will say your own version. So there is this time that. <laughs> When you know in the very early in the morning we, we wake up like 5 30 to 6 to pray so you know some people will know how still be sleeping and whenever he wait like there was a day he called he called me and he said joy what did you hear and i said ah what my brother said is what i had he said i say your own in another way <laughs> and i couldn't say anything and one thing is you can't miss prayer in my house if you don't come for prayer my father will not dash you anything like if you don't come for prayer my father, my father will not give you money he will not even listen to you. You are not. You will not be close to him. And we pray in the morning. We pray before we sleep in the evening. No matter what we have to do, we must stop for prayers. Twelve a.m. My father will go around to wake everybody for prayer. We had him doing vigil was like. Just imagine waking up twelve to one to pray. Everybody must be on. Must be around twelve to one to. So. It was so somewhat strange that people started seeing me differently. Maybe because they saw me wearing waist beard, confirmed their suspicion that ah, this one would be fetish because her father was a traditional ruler. To, to, to even make it worse now, this kind of matter people now have made it worse for me. Whenever I wear now, <laughs> people now see me like, oh, now maybe not kind of matter. There's this video that is going viral now of a particular kind of matter seller saying that uh, when you wear, if you buy her waist beard, you can use it to hold a man, to do this, to do that. I think that's the reason why I just stopped wearing. I, the truth is, I'm not happy not wearing it anymore. But what do I do? What do I do? I just don't want people to see me differently. I don't want people to, to assume what is not there. You understand? So that's just the reason why I decided to just stop wearing it. But the thing is, they pay me, shall. They pay me well. Growing up in the village was fun. We, the things that people do, like going to the mall, going to this, I didn't do them while growing up. I was It was going to the river, going to the market for me, going to pluck mango, going to pluck cashew, uh, roasting cashew. That was my childhood, like <laughs> buying orange. At some point, I, 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 I used to buy a tree of orange. I buy it then whenever, and I used to sell. I was, then I was selling it behind my father. I didn't want my, I was selling cashew, orange, vegetables. And my father didn't know. The day he now saw, he found out, he stopped me. I started business when I was small. <laughs> I said, I said, my husband, and he said, which kind of business? <laughs> business, where he gives 10,000 naira, they start my business. But it's business, so I was very, very, very business minded when I was growing up. So that's it, that's it for me, for blabbing. I've said a lot. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense to you, but I just said uh, to just do a video and talk about the waist bead. Why I, I am angry that I'm not wearing waist bead again. It's not it's not it's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. And I I don't like people judging people. Why do you judge me? Because I grew up in the village, I should be a just person. You understand? But those that that, that saw me that way and see them misbehaving, instead of seeing maybe trying to stay away from me, I stopped talking to them. I blocked them, self, like blocked them on social media and everywhere because I don't think I have you don't know me, why judge me? Like why not come close to know me? Come closer, know me first before you judge me. You understand? Yeah, uh, this growing up in the village, I, I know that okay, people are traditional worshippers. Yes, I, 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 that they, they were around all traditional worshippers, but it was like a way of worship for them that it was not a diabolic, not something that okay, they have to kill somebody, they have to do this. No, so just giving food to their bottles on the ground, <laughs> like that's their god, their bottles on the ground, their the other things, just something that happened around me when I was in the village, but I never paid attention to things like that it's a choice whatever you want to believe in okay guys that's just the end of the story let's just end it here thank you for watching if you have not subscribed please do subscribe to my channel i don't know why i keep forgetting saying that at first so if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel 
I'll be glad if you share this. I'll be glad if you if you t- let people know about me and all. Thank you. From your wonderful Okibesis and your favorite Gala Princess.